Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. The Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have mirroring. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. We have Seven of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, the Devil. Capricorn energy. Clarify the mirroring card. Okay, we have What a Catch. And we have Healing. So Spirit is saying you guys both kind of feel like you have found something in one another that is special and that you're not going to just find in somebody else. Like even if one of one of you wasn't feeling that way at some point, based off of the current energy, you and this person are both recognizing that there's something that you guys have that you're not going to be able to find in another situation or not be able to find it easily. Like you have something special that is incomparable to anything else that you've ever experienced or maybe will encounter or experience okay there's also a mutual fear of losing one another okay um there's also a mutual energy of you guys both healing and practice like kind of more being self-focused or making healthier choices or just you know accepting that there are some things and changes that need you know things that need to be changed or worked on So that's the current energy. Ten of the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hanged Man. So Pisces energy. Back of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Well, we have two queens here. We have the Queen of Pen Queen of Cups clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Devil. Hmm. Somebody's walking away from a commitment or a marriage. Somebody was definitely juggling you. And I feel like they were either, they were making someone false prom. It's like one of you, they were making, they were making false promises to the other one. The other situation was maybe money motivated. Yeah. Money over love, money affecting your love life. Yeah. Hmm. Clarify the queen of cups. Temperance and the King of Pentacles. Hmm. What about the Queen of Pentacles? Taming Hunger and the Star. Okay, give me a little bit more information. We have the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. So, what about the Temperance and the King of Pentacles? Children mm, and the Three of Wands. What about the Three of Wands? The Seven of Cups. So, yeah, it's like one of these situations. Somebody's been trying to resist coming towards somebody that they actually view as wish fulfillment. They played games or they betrayed. It's like there's two different situations here. One of them is like someone stayed in this situation because they thought it was secure. There could have been children involved. Um... They thought that they could have multiple options in that situation or they were just staying there, staying put for a sec <laughs> or however long while they were trying to figure out what they wanted or who they wanted to be with. The, this other situation, somebody played games. Somebody played games with the one that they view as wish fulfillment. Why they do this? And now they could possibly feel like they they could have like not give, give, given you a lot of their attention time. Like, yeah, the hermit Virgo energy. the hermit virgo energy the death card somebody yeah change scorpio energy unawakened don't this person just was not awakened to this what this connection was or i think that they also knew they were going to have to cut off their karmics or this karmic they would have to do inner work to be with somebody like you yeah so what is the six of pentacles and the devil the emperor and the knight of cups Okay. <laughs> Date.
So you have somebody that's coming towards you, wanting to spend some time with you. What do they need to know about this? The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. They want to work on some type of steady commitment or union with you. Why is the devil here, though? The Nine of Swords. They're obsessing over this. Yeah, they're obsessing over what they're going to say, if you're going to reply, if they should reach out. What they, It's like somebody is obsessing over you. What about the Six of Pentacles, though? The Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. It's like somebody wants something stable and balanced and reciprocal with you. And they're like, they're obsessed with this. Like they're obsessed with the idea of having this with you, having this new beginning in love with you. But this is somebody that kept you waiting for a long time to give this to you. And it was because they even tried, they maybe tried to friend zone you or something, but it was because they were, they, there was a third party in the mix. What about the um, Seven of Pentacles and the Hanged Man? Their perspective has changed about something here. The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Awa Yeah, they're awakening to something here. Yeah, Divine Intervention, no more running. What about Cold? Is They've been trying to run from their feelings and emotions. What about What's the Tea? Forbidden. Hmm, somebody's trying to get information on what's going on with you. We have four of cups unawakened this is like somebody that rejected you or like they acted like they didn't care or that this connection wasn't significant to them tell me more knight of pentacles what about the knight of pentacles the healing yeah but they've been slowly but surely healing changing growing and now what we have two of cups It's almost like what somebody wants now is changing. What did they want with you before? What, what did they want with you before? Temperance? Children. What did they want before? They wanted to... Six of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Ten of Swords. Oop. I don't know. It's like uh, this person used to not want to express how they were feeling to you. They... They needed attention. This is somebody that used to want attention from everybody. Like they wanted to get attention from multiple people. I think that they wanted to take their time. They were very just childlike. What is children? They wanted to be a player. They wanted something very lighthearted and like not anything too serious. Yeah, and what about um the Ten of Swords, though? Manifesting you. What's about the Ten of Swords? They want you back. They know that they hurt you or they betrayed you, but they want you back. Because they feel like you're the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. They feel like you are their person. What about rejection? Karmic partner. They... Who are they rejecting? Who got rejected? They rejected you to choose a karmic partner. What is rejection here for? Waiting. This person is like hopeful that you will come back to them or something like that. Like they, they've been hoping that you come back, but they are dealing with somebody else who they're codependent on. Mm-mm. Anything else from the tarot? Anything else from the tarot? The moon? Pisces energy. What about the moon? Frozen. Hard to let go. Resisting change. Somebody is letting fear... Keep them from letting a situation go or making some type of changes. Keeping them, yeah, some type of illusion. Tell me more about it. 
Eight of Cups. So somebody is letting go of some or walking away from something here. It's Three of Swords. I mean, Three of Pentacles. What does that do with my collective, though? The Ace of Wands. Somebody wants to restart things with you. With what intentions? Knight of Pentacles to take things seriously. They want to take it slow, but they want to take it seriously because they feel like with you, they have there's happiness with you. There is a possibility of a happy union, happy family, harmony, satisfaction with you. Give me one more. The world. Yeah, it's like they want to start anew, closing out one cycle. What about Seven of Wands? They could be coming in to fight. Yeah, this person's going to try to come in. They're going to start coming in and trying to fight for this. Trying to uh, manifest something with you. They're going to want you to surrender to the unknown with them. Or they're surrendering to the unknown. But I do think that they're walking away from something that it was really hard for them to let go of. Why was it so hard for them to release this other situation? The Page of Cups, because they, why was it hard? Oh my gosh, guys, this truck is so loud. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Emperor, Aries energy, and the King of Cups. It's almost like they've been working to like level up. But what does that have to do with why they stayed in that other situation though? Why was it hard for them to let, let it go? Oh, sexual and for some of you, it wasn't even just like one person. This person had an issue with being lustful, like sleeping with multiple people, dating, like being a player. I hope that that makes sense what I'm saying, that this person has an issue with being with, they need to have like multiple people. Ah. And I feel like they do this. They like these lighthearted hookups, situationships, or something like that because they feel like those situations don't require a lot of emotional investment because this person is the page of, or was the page of cups, emotionally unavailable or emotionally immature. Um, but I think that this person is trying to work to level up into a king of cups and a, an emperor. So what is the present energy here? What's the present energy? Um, the Two of Pentacles, mm, I like that, and the Unawakened. So right now, they're still in this energy of juggling or not quite ready to just like make a decision and just stick to that, just choosing you and that's it because this person still is trying to decipher their feelings and emotions for you. So what are, what are they about to do here? Are they doing anything or the Two of Swords? They don't know what to do. They're at a stalemate, but they are in regret. What are they regretful about? They regret what they've done in the past, but they're hopeful. They're hopeful and they are starting to awaken, but they just still don't quite get it just yet. They are doing a lot of soul searching and introspection, but for right now, they still just don't quite understand it enough to fully go all in. But I do see this person reaching out to you, wanting to spend some time with you. Is that what, so what is, are they about to... Let's see, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. This person wants to sleep with you. I'm, I thought that, I think this person, and they want to know what's up with you. So, it's almost like this person is wanting to come in and do a check-in. Guys, I'm really sorry about that loud truck outside. It's making me upset. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like someone wants to check in on with you. They want to see... Who, who you're talking to, what you got going on, who you're dealing with, if you're dealing with anybody, if you'll even entertain them. And now we got a loud, loud plane that wants to fly by too. Like, I don't know what's going on, but it's just like somebody is wanting to come in and they want to check on you. They want to check in, see what's going on with you. And I really think that they're hoping to have a sexual encounter with you. I'm just telling you what I see here. So what else does my collective need to know um, about this?
We have Miss Winter. It says stuck, stagnation, delays, and setbacks. Yeah. Tell me more. We have the grasp of greed. So things are stuck because someone is still being selfish. They're still being materialistic and they're still, they're, they're just, uh, this person's wanting to have their cake and eat it too still or something. They're not ready to just be with one person. But we have straw into gold alchemy, reviving what was lost, creating something out of nothing. Tell me more. Queen B, a natural leader standing out from the rest, ruler of their heart. It's almost like this person feels like it's a celebration, renewed enthusiasm, social events, parties. Oh, this person sees you stepping out. Like they see you. This person's wondering how, like, how did, how did the collective come out of, like, how are they so positive and optimistic and why are they, they see you, like, going out and socializing and having victories in your life and they feel like you, you manifested something out of nothing or they just don't, kind of straw into gold. They just want to know how you do it. They want to know how you've manifested this life for yourself and how you, how things, how you make shit happen. Like somebody is kind of like, but in the fact that you have the ability to do so, it says that you stand out from the rest. Yeah, divine. He, it's because you have the divine on your side. That's why this person feels like you have the Midas touch. Like they just feel like they don't understand. Like they feel like things just come easy to you. Things always work out for you. Just you have this amazing life like they just they want to know how you do it for yourself so now what what are they about to do it's like they want to be able to do that so we have awakening your vision to magic hold on guys this car is backing up finally it's leaving hold on give me one second Hold on one second. Oh my gosh, guys, that truck is so loud. Like, I don't understand, like, why it, every time it comes here, it get, it's so annoying. Um, spiritual death. Awakening your vision to magic, self-discovery, rebirth process, dark night of the soul. What does that do with you? Is this them that are going to roll the dice and truth and clarity? Somebody is feeling the need to express themselves to you, but what is outside influences? Listening to other people's opinions, others affecting the outcome, external. Somebody could be telling this person to express themselves to you or giving them some type of insight or wisdom. You can see the truth clearly, be wise and pay attention, read between the lines. If they had people that were, you know, telling them one thing about the situation, about themselves or about you, they're starting to see what the truth is. And what is the truth that they're seeing now? The moon that fears and security, things are not as they seem. They're realizing that something was an illusion. What was the illusion? That you were asking too much of them, that they can never please you that you were high maintenance and you had unrealistic, you were requiring too much of them and what the heck, you were too hard to, yeah. Wait, that you were actually, yeah, your thoughts are manifesting, magical energy surround you, wishes coming true. It's almost like this person's feeling like you were the one that they should have like listened to or you're the, you, they should have taken your advice, they should have invested in you. Instead of looking at you as high maintenance, they should have looked at you as somebody that they could learn from or that they could, yeah, grow with or something like that. Tell me more. Sacred cycles. Let go of the old honor the cycle you are in. What goes around comes around. And we have Miss Lazy Daisy. Soul gifts, divine plan, align with the universe. I feel like spirit says that it was necessary for you guys to just like, you guys have to not take action towards this person. Like you needed to stop taking some type of action towards them and kind of like, not kind of, you needed to let the divine plan play out or let the divine intervene. 
it's like when you stop taking action towards this person, they started realizing a lot of things. Like when you took a step back. And it's almost like you allowed karma to come in and do its work when it came to this person. So now what do they want? What are what can they expect to happen now since they took a step back and let so we have calm storm. We have not phased by it, self-control, not reacting to negativity. We have lady spider web. New connections, shaping your reality, bringing together past, present, and future. Trick or treat. Playing games, not serious, unsure of their intentions. What are their intentions? It's like this energy, trouble lurking, and key to closed doors. Lies, deception, bad intentions. Unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences. What was closed before is now open. So can they trust this person? Care ooh, carelessness and right. So what about... swear somebody wants to learn from you somebody want this person wants to be you like it's it's like i'm trying to think of the best way oh i'm trying to think of the best way to explain this to you guys i see them coming back i feel like this person this person has played so many games you don't take them seriously anymore and you're not going to be sure if like you can trust this person or if they're just coming around to play you again but I swear, and you like you're not you're gonna be very observant when this person comes back around. But it does say unlocking mystery, at, uh, unlocking mysteries, key to closed doors. What was closed before is now open. What is key to closed doors? We have follow the signs. What is the door that was closed that is now open? The Grim Reaper, breakup, divorce, clearing away the old, cutting something or someone off. So what does that mean for my collective and this person? See, it, the door was closed for you on this person as long as they wanted to hold on to whoever this karmic was or that karmic way of living, like them having multiple people they were dealing with or whatever it was. But I feel like somebody has made the decision to end something here and now there's a door that has opened. I feel like this person, want, they, they acted like they didn't care or they, they haven't made great choices when it comes to you. But I'm telling you, this person feels like yeah, careful who and what you let in. This is you guys. I feel like not. Mm, I'm telling you, this person wants to learn from you with the study room energy, getting to know each other. They want it. They want to learn more about you, and they want to like learn your ways. Like they want to know. They want to manifest like you. They want to build a life for themselves like you built for yourself. Like they feel like you are somebody that is a good influence on them and that they can really learn from. They want to get to know you. It's almost like this person wants you to. They they're learning how to love through you as well. Wow. Yeah. They, they want to. They want to embody your confidence and your success and your enthusiasm and your optimism and like they want to get to your level of fulfillment. Like I don't know how else to put it. But, yeah, spiritual rebirth. So, tell me about this spiritual death card. Who's going through the death and the rebirth? The final dance, last chance, all or nothing, not playing games. So, yeah. So, somebody has gone through, like, a period of self-discovery, introspection. They've been going through the dark night of the soul. They've been going through the rebirth process. So, this person's coming towards you. They want another chance. And they know they have to give it their all this time around. And they have to be coming towards you, not playing games and taking things seriously. What about time flies? They feel like they're, that maybe their time is running out to come in and have another chance for you. So somebody is about to take a leap of faith here. Yeah, someone is about to take a leap of faith. So somebody is coming towards you in an energy that you're not used to see. You're very different from these karmic relationships that they're used to involving themselves with. So what are they going to do here? Yeah, they're used to toxicity. They're used to fighting and arguments and disagreements and always being a competition. But they don't... What about not amused or maybe this person always tries to come in and fight with you because that's what they're used to they're, they keep trying to have a toxic relationship with you but you're not toxic so this person knows that they have to they're coming towards you with a different energy because it says refreshing new energy you're different from what they're used to dealing with they're realizing they have to handle you differently too like you don't handle them so they know that they they have to come towards you with a proper offering and they're going to do this because they're afraid to lose you. They're getting jealous. But this is definitely somebody that has has a hard time opening up about their feelings and emotions. But they feel like you are somebody that is different, unique. They're not going to find you in anybody else. So they kind of feel that kind of makes them feel like it's safe. Hmm. Give me. Yeah, they're coming back towards you in a different energy. 
the past returns coming together, returning home. And what? one more card. Fantasizing, escape, escapism, wishful thinking, daydreaming. What about that? Twin flame. Yes, we know this is a twin flame connection. What about daydreaming, though? Sleepless night. Somebody is just... Somebody is daydreaming about when they can, like, them coming back towards you and, like, changed in a different energy or something like that. So why are they just worrying about it instead of actually doing something about it? Genuine love, kind, loving, and generous. Can't be trusted with your heart. Tell me more. We have social circle, me networking, meeting new people, going out, having fun with friends. It's almost like this person is afraid of you finding somebody else. See, the past returns going back to something. They went back to some type of like non-traditional, uh, non-committal type relationship. They chose, it, but the problem is that this person could have always trusted you with their heart. Just tell me what, what is this, what's this going to, I can't even talk. What's this person going to do? We have outside, what about these outside influences? Spiritual death. And we have cost of vanity. Living in an illusion, superficial relationship, narcissism. They're, they're becoming burdened by this unhealthy relationship and also by their like, yeah. Hmm. They just, they have some bad influences around them. This is an interesting reading. Um, I'm going to get a few more cards and then I will take this over to the extended reading. I made this one kind of long on accident. Give me four cards to tell me what is happening now. We have sentimentality. Having a hard time letting go, examining photos and thinking about the past. Strong emotional feelings while thinking about memories. What's that do with you? See, we have third party situation. Main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of the relationship. Feeling betrayed and second guessing self-worth. Tell me more. We have false flame. They chose a false flame over you. Cause you emotional distress and creates conflicts. You are unsure of their feelings towards you and they do not help you grow and, and you feel uncomfortable around them. This is the type of relationship that this person is used to. And I think that they were having a hard time letting go of that type of relationship dynamic. I don't know why. So what's that do with my collective? We have no fall time, November 7th through December 21st. What about it? Ooh, naughty thoughts. I can't help but want you physically, sexually, and mentally. You're all I think about when I'm alone and lost in my thoughts. The thought of you drives me insane, okay? <laughs> and balancing. I'm trying to balance the scales of my life and our connection. I took from you more than you were able to give. I used you for my own benefit. I now understand this was un unhealthy and unfair to you. I'm sorry. So somebody has realized just how unfair they were to you. What's the present energy at this very moment? We have Sagittarius. What about Sagittarius? <laughs> We have Aries. It says, I was impulsive, irrational, and selfish. I pushed this connection to its breaking point. I'm sorry for causing so much conflict in our lives. And we have regret. Afraid they made the wrong decision. Feels troubled or, or remorseful of what has happened. Can, sees you happy while they are miserable and can't move on. I'm telling you. Somebody sees you living your best life and they're miserable. And they're like, how does, how does the collective keep, like, they're just so happy and they're able to move on with their life. And how, I don't know how, how am I, I don't know how to do that. And it's like, this person just feels lost without you in their life. Like this person does not know how to cultivate a life for themselves. Like you've cultivated for yourself. It's like them seeing you happy and living your best life is making this person feel even more so like they made the wrong decisions because if they would have made the right decisions for themselves, they wouldn't be miserable. So the fact that you're live, you're happy and you're fulfilled and everything is going amazing for you and everything is going to shit for them, it's screaming at them that they made the wrong choices. They did, they, they didn't make, they didn't move correctly. They didn't play their cards right. And it was because of their dang ego. Acts and ones see, they're learning lessons that when you act selfishly, you you act in a self-serving way at the detriment to other people, that things never go right for you. It says acts and ones own self-interest driven by a need to prove oneself better than others does not truly love the person but loves more what the person gives so either they chose somebody to use them 
they're getting bad karma for that. Um, I think that they were maybe trying to, they didn't want to, they wanted to outdo you or, um, or one up you. They're getting karma for that. And then they're also getting karma for just being selfish. This is making them take a look in the mirror. Cause they're like, well, if I like, if I was in the right, or if I did every, if I made the right decisions and I, but then things would be going well for me. Like, it's like, they're starting to realize that. Yeah. You guys could even be feeling that this person is not doing too great right now. They're not doing too great because they're looking in the mirror and they don't like what they see. Did they're they're finally taking a look in the mirror and they don't like what they see. Does not truly look yeah. What's this card say? This is the last one I'm gonna read. It says, My pride and my ego help me back and stop me from being my true authentic self. I'm afraid you'll reject me because I fear I'm not good enough for you. My self-confidence was just a facade. This person, you you exude true confidence. This person has a false confidence. They they wish they had that true confidence that you have. True confidence that you have. True confidence.